Hello, 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 and happy Tuesday and good afternoon. Welcome to those who are joining me live today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join me. And those who are listening to the replay, I thank you so much for taking time to hit the replay button and to listen and join in. I am so excited to be with you here today. It's actually a pretty nice day today here in Orlando, Florida. It's sunny, it's a little warm. We're in a tornado watch, but all in all, we're, we're doing good down here. And I do wanna give my COVID public health plug-in. Uh, my heart and prayers really go out to parents at this time of the year. I cannot believe we are in August. School is getting ready to start soon for many of us and parents have a tough decision to make whether to send their kids back face-to-face -face or to do distance learning. So I, my prayers go out to each and every one of those parents who have to make those tough decisions continue to stay safe and exercise precautions so that we can contain this virus and so that we can get back to or come to some form of a new norm where everything is just not such a high risk. In Florida, these numbers are going up instead of down, unfortunately. So keep everybody in prayer and we're praying. We understand that God is in control and we're all going to come out of this blessed. All right. So today's topic is how to keep going when the going gets tough. So as you chime on, if you can you know, give me a quick shout out and say hello, that'd be great. And you know, how do we keep going when the going gets tough? So if weight loss is your goal, do you, do you know why you want it? I mean, if you can't imagine, if you can't immediately answer that question right now, right here, and honestly, then guess what? You are unplugged with your most natural power motivational source, which is you. Mm -hmm. So picture this scenario. I'm going to post a scenario on up here for you. You try a new diet. By day five, you're questioning why you're even on this diet in the first place. Have you ever experienced that? <laughs> um, okay. So uh, please update if you have. And so while people are still jumping on, I am going to just do a very quick intro of myself. My name is Sandra Goltry, and I am a registered dietitian nutritionist uh, for adult men and women, helping them to boost their energy levels, providing practical and realistic solutions for healthy eating so that promotes weight loss and not just getting the weight off, but keeping the weight off long term. And more importantly, I humbly, humbly serve as a health advocate to each of you during these very unprecedented times and during this COVID pandemic, where having a strong immune system having total body wellness is more important than ever before. So if you are just tuning in, let's see here, I see a couple of comments here. So somebody's on the line, I'm not able to see your name, but thank you for tuning in live. And so if you're just tuning in, how do you keep going when the going gets tough? So your big why or reasons for wanting to achieve a particular goal is the core motivation because it connects you to what fires you up the most. So this why, it isn't a one size fit all thing, but it does motive, what motivates someone else may not motivate you to even get off the couch. So the key is determining, you know, what your big why is. And you have to ask yourself, well, why do I really want to lose weight? Why is it so important to me? If your why motivates you towards a long-term weight loss success, go for it. If that's what's going to keep you in the long haul, because remember, it didn't get here overnight, so it is going to take some time to get out of it. So if it motivates you, then go for it. So my question for you is, does your big why motivate you to reach your long-term weight loss goals? So if you already know what motivates you, then type in motivates. If you're still thinking about it, then put think more. And that's okay. So hopefully by the end of this call or the end of this video that you will kind of have more of an idea of what your big why is, or at least start the process rolling for thinking about what your big why is. Examples. So here are some examples of some big whys. Maybe you want to stay healthy for your children. Maybe you want to be around for your grandchildren, or you just want to shop in your closet and fit clothes that you haven't been able to fit in for years, or perhaps you want to get down to a certain size. You're simply tired of carrying the extra weight, or you want to be able to tie your shoes or bend over without it being a major event. 
Okay. So the point being, it motivates you. And if it motivates you, then it's a good thing. And that's what's going to, one of the reasons that's going to keep you going and keep hanging in there. And so I have another question that I want to pose for you. If you are willing to share, if you're comfortable with that, I really, really appreciate it. If you have your, to share your own personal motivation as to what's keeping you in the game, what, what's going to keep you in the game when life comes at you because it will and it never comes at you until you have a goal <laughs> and usually weight loss is one of the big goals is when life really throws throws a monkey wrench at you so if you are willing to share your big why for weight loss please post it mine personally my reason for wanting to lose weight was my blood pressure so it was high i was in my early 30s and i honestly i did not want to get on meds i did not want to get on meds and so that is what motivated me Okay, we have a couple of people that said they need to think more about it. Awesome. Hopefully this is going to kind of get your mind in tune to that. And yes, want to be around for your grandkids. Exactly, exactly. And so that was my my big why. Uh, my blood pressure was my driver, family history of it. And I wanted to break the family cycle. So that was my motivation. So continuing on. So how to keep going when the going gets tough. So everybody is motivated, right, by different things. So we want to identify what motivates you. And once you do that, then you can use your big why to propel you towards your goals. And so some of the ways that you can do that is to journal your big why or to write down your big why and keep it somewhere so you can see it. So maybe uh, your big why, you look good in some photos. OK, so a simple, you know, you want to reconnect with that. You want to reconnect with that sentence daily or maybe and then you also want to jot down why for added for added motivation like why is that important to you it may look like i want to feel better or so i can travel and enjoy life more or i want to enjoy uh, i enjoyed the way i looked or i like the way that i look in those photos you know i want to get that back you know so, something like that or i want to buy an outfit to celebrate my my progress writing connects you to really truly how you feel and, and, and what you're truly thinking. And it can be a real, real motivator for you when you actually have it written down. And so yes or no. Oh, I see some comments here. I see some comments. Ah, hi, Veronica. Good to see you. Diabetes. Yes. Yes. Running from diabetes. And my overall health goal is to be around my grandkids. So yes, that's a big one. Grandkids will definitely motivate you, right? Alrighty, so I'm gonna put on here another question that I have for you guys. Yes or no, have you ever tried journaling? Have you ever tried journaling your big why for losing weight? And also journal why that's important to you. Journaling is very powerful. So maybe you've done journaling for other things, but a lot of times people don't think about journaling for, for weight loss. So really think about your big why because when life and work and family and everything comes at you, usually, our goals are the first ones to go out the window. So we want to stay in tune with our big why. So in addition to journaling, we want to visualize your big why. OK, so um, know that, you know, know your why and try to picture your why. So maybe you have an image of, of something that you love or something that you want to do or something that you want to you know, look like again. That We'll use that example again. Pull out that picture. Put it in a place where you can see it all the time. Maybe you want to compete, complete a 5K. Maybe you want to lose the belly fat. Maybe you want, maybe you find an image that inspires you to keep you motivated. And you want to surround yourself around those images. Uh, vision boards. A lot of people use vision boards. And so I don't know if, if you've ever thought about using a vision board. We use it for wealth. We use it for obtaining a house or a car. But have you ever thought about it for your own health? So that's something that you can really think to work towards and to have that goal. So finally, how do you keep going when the going gets tough? Renewing, you gotta renew your big why often. <laughs> and this is huge. I don't expect for you to wake up every day with this motivation to work towards this 5K. I mean, if that's even your big why, but it's just not realistic to think that you're just gonna leap out of bed every morning and eager to mindfully eat, sleep well, exercise, and just and everything just totally syncs up, right? I mean, that just never works like that. So life interferes, even though we have the best intentions. 
So on those days when you love to skip exercise or you stress eat your way to bedtime or you need to ref- you need to reflect on your big why and you re- need to renew your big why, which is your core motivation mentally to get back on track. And to capture what motivates you the most can also, re- you got to remind yourself of that regularly, especially if you're on those days when you just, you know, you're really struggling. Never lose sight of your big why. And it's so easy to do that. So in summary, in order to keep motivated, in order to keep going, when life comes at us, know your big why, know your reason for the weight loss, know the underlining reason for what you're really trying to achieve. Ask yourself, jot it down, why it is so important to you for added motivation. Journal it, keep it somewhere where you can see it, sticky notes on your mirrors, in your car, visualize your end result, have photos, something that you can see on a regular basis and reflect and renew your big why or your core motivation so that you can get back on track when we get sidetracked by life because it's very easy to do. So if this topic resonates with you and you would like to dig deeper in in identifying what your big why, and I invite you to a conversation, just a simple conversation to discuss what your big why can possibly be or some ideals of, of really the underlying issue of why you really want to lose weight. And simply go to the link that's on the screen and I will, and then you have a link to my calendar. I see a few comments out here. I'm going to look. Okay. We have some people who are definitely going to think about it some more. Never thought about journaling it and they think that's a great idea. So that is awesome. That is awesome. And okay. You know what? Mission accomplished. I wanted you all to start thinking about really why you want to lose weight, because the obvious is, okay, we want to be lighter. We want to look better. But honestly, that really only keeps us motivated for the short term. Okay. We need something that's a little deeper, a little deeper than that. Okay. And that's when the grandkids come in or health reasons, diabetes, we want to get off meds. And you want to find something that is much, much, much deeper. That's going to really get you through those rough times. So I thank you. I thank you. I thank each and every one of you for tuning in live. I thank you for participating. And for those who are listening to the replay, I thank you and I appreciate you for listening to the replay. Please do your part in preventing the spread of COVID and save lives. Wear your mask, wear your face coverings, practice physical distancing, wash your hands often. Be blessed. I will see you back right here next week, same time and same place. And you have a blessed rest of your day. Bye-bye.